What is up, everybody out there? Aaron here. Another deck profile. Now, it's been a while since I've done a deck profile, because pretty much right now, with not just the new format, but new support that comes out for decks, pretty much they are expensive to buy those cards, and most likely, I don't have that much money to buy these cards. So I do whatever I can to make up a deck. And the decks that I have made, I have ran before, or I have tried, and they seem to work. So that's why I like to show you guys of what I have done. That's why I'm so much of a creative player. Which I always say, I'm a creative player. I do not like, I do not like to be a competitive player. These decks that I make may seem competitive, but they're really not. Because, yeah, it may be competitive, but the combos that I show you how I do it makes it not competitive. So, here's one that I have done before. So, it's one I have done, and it's the Monarchs. Monarchs, my favorite deck out of the whole entire game. The Monarchs I love because it's a tributing deck. The best tributing deck in the whole game. Now there are the Mega Monarchs, but this one's not the Mega Monarchs. This is just the regular Monarchs. And I'm going to add it in with some Synchro. So I have done this deck before. It was using the Monarchs, using some tuners. And then yeah, with some support that came out that has been out before, for a while. And then yes, I added it in to make it a bit more consistent. So, okay, the Monarchs. There are so many. So, I run at least all the Monarchs, to tell you the truth. So, okay, yeah. So, I'll start off with Caius. My favorite one out of all. He's considered the best one out of all. Because, yeah, when they're tributed, you get their effects. So, when Caius is tributed, remove from play one card on the field. And if it was a dark monster, inflict 1,000 points of damage to your opponent. So, Caius... Ryza. When this card is tribute summon, you can target one card in the field, place it on top of the deck. Most likely you want to hit your opponent's monsters, not your own. Now, Caius and Ryza are the only one I run more than one. Because Caius and Ryza, I say, are the best ones out of all. But the number one best, I say, is Caius. Number two is Ryza. Any other monarchs that I'm going to show you right here that I also run is just one of. And I say it's just fine, because, yeah, you just I just like using all the monarchs. So we'll go with Mobius. When Tribute Summoned successfully, you can show up to two cards of Magicka Traps on the field. So yeah, Mobius. There's Thalos. When Tribute Summoned, discard one random card from your opponent's hand. Then, if it was a monster, inflict damage to your opponent by the level of, of its level times 100. Now, the whole Monarchs, they're just one Tribute. Tribute 1. So then we'll go with Zaborg. When Tribute Summon, just show one monster on the field. And that's what Zaborg does. The Grand Mark. If this card is Tribute Summoned, target one set card on the field, destroy it. Now, okay, those are the Monarchs. Now, here's a similarity between all the Monarchs. There are all 24 attackers and 1,000 defensers. Only one little difference between them is that the only one, all of them are sixes, level six, except for Zaborg. Zaborg is a level five. The rest are level sixes. Now, I don't know why they did that. And to tell you the truth, the first monarch that was ever created was Zaborg. But all of them are 24 attack, 1,000 defense. And then the other one tribute I run. Okay, he's not a monarch, but it's the Jinzo. As long as this card remains on the field, all trap cards cannot be activated. The effects of face up trap cards are also negated. Jinzo stops all traps. Now, in this deck, yeah, there are some traps, but there's not many traps I run because I'm running Jinzo. Jinzo is fun to use because no traps can be activated. So let's just say your Monarchs, if they were attack or do their effects and you have Jinzo out, well, then they cannot use their counter traps. They cannot use their Mirror Forces, Storming Mirror Force, Quaking Mirror Force. 
Torrential Tribute, Call the Haunted, whatever you could think of. Whatever trap cards you could think of. Jinzo would stop this. Now you are going to need a lot of tributing for your monarchs. So for my tributes that I'm going to show you right now is, okay, yeah. Cyber Dragon. If your opponent controls no monsters and you... If your opponent controls monsters and you don't, you can special summon Cyber Dragon. And then, yeah, just, of course, special summon, tribute to play one of your monarchs. Or you can play Jinzo. Spear Reaper. When face down, can I be destroyed by battle? So that's just, yeah, you have monsters out that can help you get out your... So yeah, these are your tributers. Gravekeeper Spies. It's a flip effect, so when flipped up, special summon a Gravekeeper with 15 attack or less, but most likely you're just summoning out another Gravekeeper. Special summon it. Here's another one. Escape Ghost. Flip. You can special summon as many tokens as you want. And there you go, you have, and it's a tuner, so yeah. There you go. Now a couple of other tuners. Crabons. If it was selected as an attack, you can pay 800 life points to keep it on the field. To negate the attack, so. That's your helper, a bit. And then, Plague Spreader. You can return one card from the top of your hand to the top of the deck. Special summon this card from the graveyard. So you can revive it. But at, as soon as this is as soon as this effect resolves and Plague Spreader goes to the graveyard, no, it would get banished instead. So Plague Spreader. And then what's also good to run since you're using a lot of darks, why not add in Dark Arm Dragon? Cannot be normal summon. Must be special summon by having exactly three darks in your graveyard. You can special summon this, and then you can target one card on the field, destroy it by, by of course, yeah, banishing one of, your uh, one of your dark monsters in the graveyard. So, banish one, destroy. So, those are monsters, so yeah. With Monarchs, there are one tribute, so yeah, you need tributed monsters. So, those are your tributed monsters. And of course, yeah, a couple, couple of tuners, so it's going to be a Synchro Monarch deck. So then, okay. Pot of Duality. Reveal the top three cards. Add one to your hand. The other two, go back to the deck. Reshuffle. Here's the thing though, you cannot special summon. You are not special summoning. Tribute summon is not special summoning. So part of duality works well with the monarchs. And you're rarely gonna special summon. So then, monarchs start forth. Once per turn, you would. If you would. Tribute a monster or monsters. Pretty much. You can tribute, you can hit this on one of your opponents. You're gonna tribute theirs. Here's the thing also, Monarch Stone Forth does not target. So you can hit a monster even though if it says it's not targeting, you can't target it. No, Monarch Stone Forth does not target, so you can hit that monster and tribute for one of your own. That's why it's better than Soul Exchange, because Soul Exchange you have to suck up your opponent's monster and then you cannot attack. No, but Monarchs on Forth lets you attack. You are using a lot of darks, so a lot of darkness, draw power, draw two cards, banish one dark from your hand. If you have no dark monsters, throw your entire hand, but most likely you are having a lot of darks. Of course, Raigeki, Dark Hole, couple of uh, MSTs is pretty good to use. And then what came back, thank god, Pot of Avarice. One of the popular magic cards you are going to need for the Monarchs. Reason. 
you can target five monsters in your, in your in your graveyard, shuffle them into the deck, draw two cards. If you have used all your monarchs or the Jinzo, recycle them right back. Any five you want, and you're gonna get to draw two cards. And then I set my traps. I'm not using a lot of traps. It's just Mirror Force, Storming Mirror Force, Quaking Mirror Force, Compulse. So yeah, only six traps. And then with Jinzo, you don't really want to run that many traps. Now I guess we're... Uh, For the synchros, Kataster, any tuner, it's a level 5 you need to make. At the start of the damage step, if this card inflicts battle damage to not a dark monster, it, it increasingly destroys it. Kataster can only be destroyed by battle if it was done by a dark monster. Okay, yeah. Doesn't matter by the levels, but I'm just showing you. Please. The Diabolic Dragons. You need a Dark Tuner. Now, particularly, all the tuners are Darks. Cannot be destroyed by battle card effects. If you take damage from an attack involving this card, or your opponent's... or from an opponent's card effect, this card gains attack equal to the damage you took. Pretty brutal right there. Bryanok. Dragon of the Ice Barrier. Any tuner. You can discard any number of cards to the graveyard, then target the same number of cards your opponent controls, return those to the hand. You can only use this once per turn. Now before when this came out, it was as many times as you want. It's instantly shit like that. This is only once per turn. So that's a little difference. I don't know if I said it correctly or any bit, but yeah, they changed the rule a bit for Bryonic. Oh, my mistake. I have the old time Bryonic. The new one is not once per turn. It's only on that turn. My mistake. But yeah. This is the original first Bryonic. The, the second one, the new one, is it's not once per turn. It's on that turn. Just like the Monarchs. Only on that turn they get their effects. Bryonic. It's only when it's Synchro Summoned Up. My mistake, but yeah, that's what Bryonic does. Black Rose Dragon, almost the same exact thing. You can blow up the field, but it's only on that turn when it's Synchro Summoned. And you must sacrifice Black Rose, uh, Black Rose Dragon. Particularly, my favorite Dragon Synchro Monster. Then we got Crimson Blader. Any tuner. If this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, sends it to the graveyard, your opponent cannot normal or special summon level 5 or higher monsters during the next turn. Red Dragon. Red Dragon Archfiend. Any tuner? If it. If this card destroys a defense position monster, all defense position monsters are going to get destroyed. The original Stardust Dragon. Anytime a card would be destroyed on the field, you contribute Stardust Dragon to the graveyard. At the end, revolves right back. Hot Red Dragon Archfiend. Now to tell you the truth, it is similar to the Red Dragon Archfiend. Because Red Dragon Archfiend destroys all defense position monsters, Hot Red Dragon Archfiend destroys all attacking face-up monsters. And then Trishula, Dragon of the Ice Bear. Now, Trishula, you need three monsters to do it. Any tuner plus two other monsters. Now, if you do this, when it is Synchro Summon, you can banish 
up to one card from each of your opponent's hand, field, and graveyard. The card is... The card in the hand is chosen at random. So your opponent is going to show their hand, not show their hand, they're going to reveal the cards backwards, just like this, like a regular Spear Reaper or the Stalos, choose one, that's the one that's going to get banished. Trisha doesn't seem that hard to make either, but if you can make it, you can make it, and Trisha is a level 9. Okay, let's do this. Let's shuffle the deck this time, and let's see what the cards are going to be. And let's see what we get. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. If you're going first, you start off with your five, unless you're going second. Six, okay. If you're going... Second, okay, your opponent has monsters. You can go into your Cyber Dragon. You have two options right here. You can go Ryze or Caius. Or if you want to play defense, you can play either of your defense. So let's say you want to go into Grave Keeper Spy first. You can set Grave Keeper Spy. Draw. Grand Marg. Rather, if it was attacked, or you flip. Grave Keeper Spy. Gatekeeper Spy. Maybe you want to, yes, you want to tribute your one that's in attack mode. So, tribute. Any of the monarchs you want to choose. If they just have one face down, you want to go grab Mark. If they have a monster and you know you can send it away, you can go Ryza or you want to banish it, you can go Caius. Let's just say Ryza, okay, Ryza. Activate the effect. Oh, Ryza. You draw. Into another Caius, okay. Do you want to play defense? You want to play more defense? Or you can play another monarch, since you have monarchs. So you can go tribute your other spy. Go into Caius now. Here's the thing about the monarchs. Sometimes you want to keep them both out. So it's like, yeah, you played Ryza's effect. You have your other and play another monarch. So now you have two monarchs out. Draw. Okay, a Kravans now. Here's the thing when I did a trick with the monarchs. Always I would go tribute, a monarch, tribute, a monarch. <laughs> so it was just going over and over is what I kept on doing a lot. Or just, let's say you want to make a synchro player in. Single Kravans. You want to synchro into... Okay, you can only make a level 8, so... Maybe you want to go Kaiza, Ryza... Ryza and Krabons. Maybe you want to go into right here already, you're... Please. Cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. So you have a synchro out, you have Kaiza out. Draw. Okay, part of duality. You're not going to achieve you. You're not going to special summon. The only way to special summon is by just your Cyber Dragon or Escape Ghost, but you can't do that. So I might as well go Power Duality. One, two, three. Raigeki Darko Ryza. Most likely, I would just go already. You want to... You have enough Monarchs, so you really don't need to get Ryza. I would go get Raigeki. Keep it in your hand, because if they have no monsters, okay, but just keep Raigeki. 
So let's just say they have a back. Alright then, maybe you want to just, um... Play defense right now, and then just attack with your Blees, attack with your Kaius. Draw? Okay, Storming Mirror Force. You're gonna set. Flip up. Okay, you have two spots, so you have two tokens. And your Scape Ghost. Now maybe you want to... Let's see. Scape Ghost is the dark, so... That would make seven, but you can use one of your... Let's just say this, you want to do a combo. Tribute one of your tokens already. Go into Caius. You still have one right here. So you can go one, two. This makes eight. Go into another eight. Maybe you just want to play, let's just say, the Hot Red. They have a couple synchros right there, and you have a regular Caius. Your draw? Okay, Mobius. You have your backup right here. Anytime they have monsters and you don't want to deal with it, maybe you just want to play again, just more defense, so Spirit Reaper. Okay, Monarch Stone Fourth now. Maybe you just want to keep your Spirit Reaper face down. Keep Caius, the Blees, Red Hot. Monarchs turn forth, they're a monster. Play one of your monarchs. Straight like that. Alright, let's try another hand and let's see what happens. Hopefully you're not gonna get a not gonna get a bad hand. Hopefully you don't. But let's see then. All right. So one, two, three, four, five. See what we get. All right then. Draw. Okay. Some some really not that bad. Really? They have back row? You're gonna MST. You're gonna set. You have no choice but to possibly summon out your Crabons. Now, anytime it would be attacked, you wanna negate the attack, you're gonna pay 100 life points. So you draw. Into a Scape Ghost, okay. You have your Storming. Let's just say you wanna Tribute. You can go into, you wanna stop Traps already, or you wanna play a Monarch. Let's just say you want to stop traps already, so you go Jinzo. You have a trap, but it does not matter right now because you have Jinzo. Your draw? Okay, Pot of Duality. Let's see what we get. Spy. Stormforth. Caius. You can go for some defense. You want to play one of your monarchs and take over your opponent's monster, or you want to play a, you want to have another monarch. Let's just say you want to take over a monster, so you go Stormy Mirrorforth. Okay, then so you have your set. You still have your Jinzo out because okay, yeah, Jinzo's only twenty-four. So if they had something higher, yeah, they they would be able to kill Jinzo. Let's just say you're playing right now if they can't destroy Jinzo. Alright, so you wanna play defense. Maybe you wanna not do so many monarchs so forth because they have no monsters or really Jinzo can just kill exactly what it is, so maybe you don't need to. You're gonna flip. Another MST. Flip. You have three spots to have three tokens, okay? If they were setting because they're setting the trap cards and they can't play because of Jinzo. Well, then you can wipe some out with MST. Now you can tribute one of your own. So, Borg. So, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. 
You can go into an A thirty because you have two spots right here still of tokens. So Borg's five. But here's the thing though. What you can do is okay. So this was two, right? Two, six. So that's seven, eight, nine. Let's say you wanna okay, you want to already, but you can go into Trishula. So you got rid of your two tokens, your three, and then Jinzo. Let's just say yeah, then old backfield, you just wiped it all out. And then Trishula's effect would go. Because you play Trishula. Now you do have your backfield. Hopefully they don't do anything to kill Trishla or your suborg. Okay, you drew into Pot of Avarice. One, two, three. Okay, only three monsters you have. So you still have to wait. But yeah, Pot of Avarice. Good thing right there. Okay, you don't have another monarch right now, so you can't do Stormforth. You have, they have monsters, you're gonna write Geki all that. Draw into Horizon. That's good. Now, okay. Pretty much, let's just say somehow you drew into it, but they had ways of somehow. I don't know. They have trap cards. I know there are some trap cards that can destroy your monsters. Okay, fine. They destroy it. And you drew into a riser. So somehow they destroyed both of them without even you doing anything. So, okay, fine. One, two, three, four. Five. Go into Pot of Avarice. Send the, send Trishula back. Send away your four back. Draw into your two. Escape Ghost. And a Compulse. Not bad. Basically, right now, take over the monster. Go into your Ryzen. Storming Compulse. Draw another Stormforth, but you have no Monarch or a Jinzo, so set your Escape Ghost. If you want to Compulse, if you wish to, your Storming still face down. Crab Bonds, okay. <clears throat> Flip, get three more. You can go into. Let me see, six, seven, eight. Maybe you want to go into eight. You still have one token. You want to go for any level eight. So let's just say this time it was the normal Stardust Dragon you wanted to do. You can do that as well. You still have one token. Okay, Compulse. Anything. Storm Remain Force if you have the chance now to play it. To destroy. Negate with Stardust. Bring back Stardust. Plague Spreader. So yeah, you have good tuners right here. Draw. Okay, Lord Darkness now. Any of these are dark, so might as well just get rid of Scape Ghost. And just, yeah, there you go. If you had three already, and you have Dark Arm Dragon, Dark Arm Dragon. So that's a Monarch Synchro. And then yes, Monarchs are only one tribute. So you are going to need tribute to monsters and then yeah, Cyber Dragon works, Crabons work, the Gravekeepers work. And then yeah, Pot of Avarice is just so so good. Just get them right back. And then using it with Jinzo, it's pretty good also. So, Monarch Synchro. So, hope you all enjoyed this. Like, comment, subscribe. Show you more deck profiles later. Peace.